decided to take out the HE-100. I love this plane. It's really fast. It has all right uh, maneuverability. And it's, it's really fast. My first target here, a unfortunate BF-110. This is a mixed battle. I had two mixed battles in a row, which was really annoying. But the biggest issue with this plane is its armament is awful. Of course, it's also at a really low tier, but three uh, 7.62 machine guns is not good at all. A lot of spray and pray. I use stealth rounds to give me that edge to hopefully take enemies down a bit faster. It's easy to catch up with people, and it's easy to, uh, real easy to boom and zoom slower targets, which is everyone. This thing has enough speed to compete with the 5.0 aircraft. Also an issue with it is because its armament is so bad that you won't be getting many kills with it because you'll waste so much bullets on one target, try to go to another target, and you'll be almost out of ammo. Sometimes you get uh, lucky shots, like here I'll get a nice shot and take him out. Also a lot of uh, assists will happen because you are you don't have enough punch to take enemies down in one swoop. And especially bombers are a real issue. So here I decided to help my team. Those guys were too close to their airfield, so I was going to go after this P-40. It was being chased by another guy, but he didn't seem to be getting much luck on that P-40, so I thought I might help him out a bit. And with my amazing speed, I'm able to catch up with them real quick. Of course, this plane is spaded. I spaded it real fast. What I'm really hoping they add next would be the uh, HE-113, which was like a planned development version of it that had a 20mm cannon. While it's only one cannon, with it, this speed and maneuverability, it should easily uh, compete in up tiers. Another problem this plane has, that's less prevalent if you're a good pilot, is it's not exactly the most durable, but I guess the idea is to not get hit, so yeah. Here, I was thinking about going back to help someone else. I thought he had him, he didn't, so I'm just gonna go back down and uh, go for another run on this guy. Really, it just hits and whatnot, but apparently it was enough to damage to uh, kill him somehow. I don't know how it happened. And now I had this other guy on my tail. Ah, oh, yeah, and it climbs really well thanks to that speed. So you can get in, get dirty with someone, and get out of there. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring this up at the beginning. I yeah, skip the uh, return to base and then the takeoff. This thing, you need you need to build up speed. So don't go rushing directly into combat. You need to get some altitude, get enough speed, get to around. Uh, I like to get to try to get the 3,000 meters and get around 400 kilometers per hour optimal engagement speed. Of course, if the game's already going on and everyone's rather low, it's fine to not climb to such a high altitude. I was gonna go for that Key 43, but then I spotted a bomber over here, and since that Key 43 was wounded and heading back to base, I felt the bomber was a more important target.
need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. It's moments like this where I really wish I had a cannon or whatever because trying to take out a bomber with three MGs is awful. I, I do it, but it just it takes forever. So there's the first pass. Not a very good pass. Kind of messed up. Try to stay out of his uh, gunner's sights. Typically flying on the side of a bomber is a good strat. Going for another one. Try to damage him enough before he gets to the base. Um, I get kind of stuck up behind him which is not what you want to do with bombers, but it's a German bomber, they have pretty bad armaments. The spinning seems to help make the gunners lose focus. Got one engine slightly damaged, I think that's just a fuel leak, or it could be a water leak, I don't know. And I unfortunately am not able to get him down before he gets to the base and he's able to bomb the base. I was also really concerned about uh, getting hit with the bomb, so I decided not to go down yet. And then there's another one. See, no, no good hits really. I think he's going back to base. I don't know. And luckily, I've gotten just about nothing. Get some pretty good hits right here. He starts trying to maneuver, but he can't really maneuver in a HE-111. Dem is the second engine, but he still ain't going down. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will Go back around, get some oil leaks there, but he's still up, still kicking. Some allies came by to uh, help out too, but bombers at low tier are really powerful, or are sturdy, I guess. And I get a crit there on the tail, but still has control of it. Now he has flak firing at him, three planes, and he uh, tries to do a very odd maneuver right here. I had to light him up a bit. That was really more just to try to claim the kill because I've been following him for so long. And now I am almost completely out of ammo. And then after that, the last two guys, they were hugging the airbase, so was unable to kill them and then the game ended. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. I like to make news videos on the weekends and during the weekdays, I fill it up with whatever happens to pop in my head. And have a good day.